Okay, so till others may join, I'll just tell you what all are we going to cover in today's class. All right. So firstly, we will cover up the newsletter for this week. So instead of doing the monthly newsletter, we have taken this for the first week of March. Okay. Uh, so for 28th Feb, from 28th Feb till 6th of March. So we will be covering this newsletter. All right. After this, you know the drill. What do we do? We, uh, you know, uh, take up the quiz from the very same newsletter that we have covered. All right. So we will have the multiple choice questions, small quiz after, like after this. Okay. Now, since we have only very less to study in today's class, that is only one week's newsletter and only few five, six uh, MCQ questions. So uh, I have taken a small discussion about the latest topic which is going on. That is the Ukraine and Russia tussle. All right. So we'll discuss what is actually going on. What are the like, who are the stakeholders? What is the issue and everything? So in brief, we will discuss the entire issue so that you are updated with everything that is happening. Okay, everyone, in case you have doubt, you can raise your hands, you can unmute yourselves, you can, uh, you know, ask a question. I am lagging. Is that so? Uh, network seems to be fine at my end. I don't know. Others also, please let me know if that is the case. Uh, my voice and video. Avnish, uh, just try to refresh if possible. Okay, I think then it'll be fine. Okay, so I think I'll start and Zed has also joined us now. So uh, Zed, I was just discussing that we will be covering this week's uh, March first week uh, newsletter. And after that, we'll take up the multiple choice question quiz. It's evening. <laughs> good evening, Zed. Yeah, good evening. And then after we are done with the newsletter and the multiple choice questions, we will be doing, uh, we'll be discussing briefly about the Russia Ukraine entire issue between these two countries. Okay. All right, everyone, let's start. I guess we can start. So, uh, okay, this all you know. Again, the uh, procedure will be same, national, international, science and tech, dates and personalities and geography and environment, okay? So again, I've highlighted the important parts from here. The first one, guys, Sambhav and Swav Lamban. These are the initiatives uh, that have been taken to issue the plastic waste in India. Okay, so this can be a question that recently Sambhav Swav Lamban, they were seen into news or something. What are they related to? So they are related to plastic waste, basically management of plastic waste. All right. So around 1350 MSMEs, which are the micro, small and medium enterprises are expected to attend the summit, which is being conducted in hybrid mode. Okay, so this is important. Sambhav and Swav Lamban are related to plastic waste. All right. Now, next, there is another term which is called as Kavach. Ab Kavach is related as C. It is related to anti-collision system developed by Indian Railway. So basically, this will use artificial intelligence and other technological, uh, you know, I would say uh, devices and uh, technological advances uh, through which it will help the train network, specifically the Indian railways that we are talking about here, so that the trains do not collide. Many a times what happens is that the driver from one train does not know that the other you know, train from other direction is coming up. All right. But this kind of a system, it is an intelligence based, artificial intelligence based system and it will pro like make sure that these trains do not collide that might you know, uh, be colliding in case there is no system like that. So, Kavach as in it's a safety gear. It's like it's safe safeguarding from collision. Okay. So, Kavach is an automatic train anti-collision system developed by the Indian Railways. Okay. So, it is also known as, you have to remember this, TCAS. But just remember that there is some other name to this as well, which is the train collision avoidance system. So obviously we would like to avoid the train collision, right? So uh, recently, like currently at present, it is operational in the uh, Lingampalli and Vikarabad section of South Central Railway zone. All right. So in this, there was a trial uh, which was done. So it actually automatically applied the brakes and it stopped the trains 380 meters apart, thereby preventing the accident. Okay, so this is important. So what is what is coverage related to? It is related to an anti-collision system for the Indian railways. Okay. Next, guys, Meghalaya has become the ninth state in the country to withdraw consent to CBI to investigate cases in the state. Now, here two things are important for us to remember. Firstly, that according to so basically cbi you know uh, is actually it is through the delhi special police establishment act 1946 governs the central bureau of investigation and it is mandatory to obtain now if this act is governing this so will cbi be a statutory body or a constitutional body can you tell me anyone make a guess 
it is the delhi special uh, police establishment act of 1946 all right so and this act also you know it governs the cbi and it makes it mandatory to obtain the concerned state's consent before beginning to investigate a crime in a state a very good example of this i can give you uh yes it will be statutory very good okay so it will not be a constitutional body because an, an act is governing a particular body for example guys when uh, there was uh, the uh, you know untimely and unfortunate death of uh, the actor sushant singh rajput if you remember after mumbai police cbi was investigating into the entire matter right so you have to remember i'll give you now I, there is a point over here that generally according to the delhi special police establishment act the cbi will have to take permission of that state before because see police theek okay, hai uh, has to be like police is a state subject right so uh, what is what has to be done that if at all instead of the police or in collaboration with the police it has to be taken like the investigation has to take place so cbi will be taking permission from that particular state government before starting investigation over there but here you have to also understand that before meghalaya now meghalaya actually has become the ninth state to withdraw consent that it will not be giving consent to investigate cases to cbi all right now before that meghalaya there were eight other states that had withdrawn the consent to cbi punjab Maharashtra can you see here Punjab Maharashtra West Bengal Rajasthan Chhattisgarh Jharkhand Mizoram and Kerala theek hai so you have to remember this and the first state in the country to withdraw its consent was Mizoram which did so in the year 2015 obviously because otherwise if there is no you know question of consent at all then in every now and then every other case the cbi would enter and it would definitely disrupt the proper functioning of the police of that particular state okay so you have to remember that cbi is governed by the delhi special police establishment act 1946 meghalaya has become the ninth state before that these many states eight states these other states have already withdrawn their consent and the first one to withdraw its consent was mizoram theek hai yes sir please please go ahead with your question do you want me to give you permission to unmute or you'll just type uh wait okay you guys can unmute okay ha so you just type it up and i'll look into it okay all right moving further guys uh, then here is the, this thing intellectual intellectual international intellectual property index all right so recently india has now been ranked 43 out of 55 which is definitely not a very good rank so you have to remember that uh, the rank of in the country the name of this index it is the international intellectual property index who prepares this it is prepared by the us that is united states chamber of commerce's global innovation policy center so these are the points that you have to remember and the top 5 countries were us uk germany sweden and france okay so you have to remember this see yes uh, any state can do so i'm not sure zed if union territories have this power because uh, union territories are uh, directly under the control union territory you know they are the territory under the control of the union but states can all right because investigation police is a state subject and interference for that that matter will be the permission needs to be taken by the state all right so okay that was all for national guys now since we are covering up only the uh, weekly ones it's not going to be very long of course all right so then let's move to the international relevance news uh, first is the financial action task force we have done it previously also so it is basically uh, an organization an institution global institution that takes care of two things primarily firstly is of money laundering that globally money laundering does not take place and secondly terror financing that is financing uh, for these terrorist groups that does not take place so you have to remember that recently the financial action task force has included united arab emirates uae in its gray list all right you also have to remember that pakistan is on the U, uh, fatf gray list since if i'm not wrong last 3 to 4 years okay so what is the gray list basically it is a list that uh, you know uh, uh, countries that uh, support terrorism or in a way they're not doing enough to curb terrorism so these kinds of countries are put under the gray list and why should one worry if they are in the gray list they should worry because a lot of sanctions can be put up on these countries and financial assistance specifically from the global market is very much reduced okay so that is why it's not a good sign to be there in the gray list theek okay? hai 
uh somia you're asking ma'am what does the intellectual property index analyze to rank the countries uh somia it is like i'll tell you uh since the time uh, we you know as a society have grown so we definitely have to pay a lot of attention on the intellectual property see it's not just the labor that we do right a lot of sectors the services sector it completely runs on what the intellectual property right like in service sector i'm i'm working in the it sector so i'm working through my brains like mera physical labor itna nahi hai but i'm working through my brains right so whenever there is more and more advancement in a in a society specifically if we talk about the technological advancement literary advancement we need to make sure that we can assure the people that their mindset their mind like the brain child their outcome through their brains will be protected and how do we protect the intellectual property is through the intellectual property rights right for example we have copyright we have patent we have trademarks what are these these are the means of protecting the intellectual property the outcome of our intellect right definitely the countries that can provide for better uh, security to your intellectual property will be the countries that where people will be more incentivized to go and research getting my point till here are you following me for example i am looking forward to research for covid 19 vaccine okay now i think that in india if i do and even if i bring out the vaccine i will not be able to safeguard my intellectual property because yahan pe koi rules hi nahi hai there is nothing no uh, any you know protocol to safeguard my intellectual property but if i go to us then the system the rules the uh, enactments the available facilities are much better than india so definitely me as a creator as a person who wants to use his brain will be more incentivized to move to these countries right so that is why it is encouraged through trips you must have heard you know uh, trips as well so it is for the intellectual property rights international intellectual property rights which comes under wto okay so that is why countries are incentivized that you should uh, you know um, do more and more to incentivize people to protect their intellectual property so based on that whatever you know provisions are available in that country they place various countries on the list of intellectual property index and uh, similarly us sweden and these countries are on the top india is on 43rd position out of 55th not so good okay so i hope you have understood the basic uh, thing got it all right chalo next uh, next point that is very important guys in the fatf gray list now you know which country has been put up united arab emirates okay now you have to understand that which thing or what international uh, which international or the intergovernmental body had established the fatf so you have to remember it was through the g7 countries back in the year 1898 okay so ye kuch points hai which you have to remember regarding the fatf okay now next one is guys swift now this is too much into news please 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 this can be a very potential question so do remember what is swift swift guys stands for society for worldwide interbank financial telecommunications ghabrana nahi hai aaram se dekho swift society for worldwide which means global all right interbank banks for example reserve bank from india could be there central bank federal bank a lot of banks theek hai interbank financial related to finances telecommunications communications that are done through technology all right so basically for global transactions this is a very safe messaging kind of or you know a telecommunications channel like for example whatsapp hai na jaise ye banks ka whatsapp hai samajh rahe ho jaise hum aapas mein end to end encrypted messages which send right that they are safe if they are going from me so they are reaching you only nobody in meanwhile can interrupt right similarly this is swift is the whatsapp for the international banks like or for the banks at the international forum got it why this is into news because recently and you have to remember guys this is belgian based a belgium mein iska headquarter hai theek hai so you have to remember that because of the tussle between ukraine and russia a lot of you know countries are coming up putting up sanctions on russia sanctions agar aapko nahi samajh mein aata hai basically penalties theek hai थोड़ा सा ग्लोरीफाइड लगता है बोलने में सैंक्शन ठीक है तो सैंक्शन दे आर ट्राइंग टू पुट अप ऑन रशिया इन ऑर्डर टू क्रिएट सम काइंड ऑफ प्रेशर ऑन रशिया सो दैट इट स्टॉप्स वट एवर इट्स डूइंग इन यूक्रेन सो दैट इज वाई रशियन बैंक हैव ऑल्सो दे हैव बिन रिमूव फ्रॉम द स्विफ्ट सोसाइटी एज वेल and i'm really sorry guys if you're hearing that uh, a lot of uh, background noise my there are all my dogs and i'm really sorry okay just they'll be fine in some time okay so you have to remember swift okay so it's society for world worldwide interbank financial telecommunications banks ka whatsapp theek hai also remember one very important point this does not transfer the money this is not a money transferring uh, agent or money transferring platform or something only the communication regarding money transfer safe communication is done over here transfer bank hi karega okay 
this you have to remember the transfer will be done by the bank itself not through swift okay just it will be mediated through it it will be communicated through swift okay okay next point guys again regarding the russia ukraine issue that uh, recently human rights group which is the amnesty international and human rights watch they actually and uh, the ambassador from ukraine to usa accused russia of using thermobaric weapons in the ongoing war against ukraine now you have to understand what actually are the thermobaric weapons general understanding ke liye samajh lo that these are the weapons that use oxygen from the surrounding air to generate a high temperature explosion so like for example they are like shot now they will use the oxygen which is available in the atmosphere they will completely you know make a fuel out of it and they will do a high temperature explosion in this what is another thing that is important is is the convention of cluster munitions so basically there is this is a uh, convention cluster munitions guys it is something like i will give you example very easy example i hope you have all watched bahubali second part just tell me a yes or no you have देखिए सबने बाहुबली मूवी सेकंड पार्ट द कंक्लूजन टेल मी ओनली देन विल बी एबल एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड द एग्जांपल अदरवाइज नॉट टेल मी इन द चैट बॉक्स एवरीवन ओके सो शुची हैज वॉच्ड इट अदर्स देखी होगी यार बाहुबली किसने नहीं देखी है सौम्या ओ माय गॉड ओके चलो कोई नहीं ठीक है बट आई थिंक आई हैव सीन द द फर्स्ट पर्सन सो आई हु हैज नॉट वॉच्ड बाहुबली सेकंड पार्ट और एनी ऑफ दिस बट चलो I'll give you example. वो वाला पार्ट देखे सौम्या लाइक मे बी किसी मीम्स में या कहीं पे यू मस्ट है वॉच वेर इन वेन दैट जो पिंडारी या जो भी थे दे अटैक ऑन द प्रोविंस ऑफ दैट लाइक वाइफ ऑफ बाहुबली सो दे टेक थ्री बाउज एट अ टाइम एंड दे यू नो शूट दैम फ्रॉम द तीर कमान एंड एवरीथिंग गेटिंग रिमेंबर दैट सीन एवरी वन ठीक है जस्ट रिमेंबर दैट एंड ये आपको याद हो जाएगा कि क्या है ठीक है सो वो थ्री लाइक दे यूज थ्री और फोर यू नो दे वर यूजिंग एरोज फ्रॉम द बाउ एट वंस वट वॉज दैट दैट इज क्लस्टर म्यूनिशन वेन म्यूनिशन एम्यूनिशन बेसिकली बॉम्ब या कुछ भी आप उनको बोलते हैं और क्लस्टर एज इन वेन यू कैन सेंड दम इन अ ग्रुप ठीक है so the convention on cluster munitions says that you cannot send them in a group because it will be very 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 devastating and it is very difficult to also cancel them out like to also go anti cluster getting so this is the one and it is saying that it is an international treaty that prohibits the use of all like transfer production and of, of these cluster bombs ki ek me se bahut sare bombs nikal jate hain theek hai so uh, and also remember guys india is not a party to the cluster of uh, cluster uh, munitions convention theek hai so i hope you understood ki cluster munitions kin ko kehte hain theek hai chalo let's move further uh, this there is a point about the united nations general assembly resolution uh, you just have to remember how many members are there in the unga it's 193 theek hai so you have to remember this next guys there was united nations uh, environment assembly was into news so united nations environment assembly it is uh, a part of basically it is the i would say executive uh, part of the united nations environment program just remember that the unea that is united nations environment assembly is the highest at the global level it is the highest decision making body when it comes to environmental or climate things theek hai so united nations environment assembly so that can be a question theek hai okay that was all for international let's move to science and technology listen to all of these carefully guys theek hai then we will be moving to the mcq uh, quiz for the day okay So for science and technology the first bank to set up shop in the metaverse is the JP Morgan so a, a lounge in the uh, decentraland uh, a blockchain based community has been set up by the largest bank in the United States okay so it's by JP Morgan i hope you know the name of JP Morgan that's all important over here then amongst different personalities we have i think we have done it so many times by now professor neena gupta she has been awarded uh, with the ramanujan prize for young mathematicians uh, in 2020 one okay so this has been this prize has been named after uh, uh, shrinivas ramanujan who himself was a great indian mathematician so who has been awarded the prize neena gupta theek hai neena gupta actress nahi hai dusri neena gupta hai theek hai okay last one guys for geography and environment uh, we have a uh, zaporisha nuclear power station theek hai so here you can find it see there are some of our stations in ukraine that are very important this is the chernobyl which is very like in 1986 it also had a nuclear disaster over here and this is the porishia theek hai so this was into news so you have to remember that these are nuclear power plants of ukraine theek hai so it was into news it is located near the city and now it has actually uh, 
यूरोप लार्जेस्ट न्यूक्लियर पावर प्लांट एंड इज अमंग दर्ल्ड टॉप टेन लार्जेस्ट ठीक है चलो ओ माई गॉड गाइज एम रियली सॉरी आई जस्ट आई जस्ट आस्क देम टू बी क्वाइट ओके ओके द नेक्स्ट इज जलधारा स्किटरिंग फ्रॉक एंड इट इज लाइक द ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज यू फ्लाई सिट्स जलाधारा ठीक है इज अ साइंटिफिक नेम बेसिकली रिमेंबर इट्स अ नेम ऑफ अ फ्रॉग दैट हैज रिसेंटली बिन डिस्कवर्ड ठीक है इट हैज रिसेंटली बी बिन डिस्कवर्ड वेयर इन दी इन दी वेस्टर्न कास्ट सॉरी ओके then the species was first discovered in freshwater bodies located near the tatekar bird sanctuary now ye aapko yaad rakhna hai because if you remember uh, national parks and bird sanctuaries also are very important their locations and everything so tatekar bird sanctuary in ernakulam district of kerala so where is it it's in kerala got it so these were the important things from this weekly newsletter everyone uh, now quickly without wasting a minute let's move uh, towards the uh, quiz okay All right. So, just give me a moment. Okay. Okay. Just, just, just give me a moment, guys. Yeah. From here, let's see. Okay. All of us, everyone, quickly. You have to give me your answers in the chat box. Okay. चलो लेट्स मूव लेट्स सी द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन संभव एंड स्वाव लंबन वर लॉन्च बाय द यूनियन मिनिस्टर ऑफ स्टेट फॉर माइक्रो स्मॉल एंड मीडियम एंटरप्राइजेस फॉर विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इनिशिएटिव्स वुमेन एम्पावर एंटरप्रेन्योरशिप प्लास्टिक वेस्ट जीरो डिफेक्ट जीरो इफेक्ट और इनक्यूबेशन शाबाश हां बहुत बढ़िया यस इट्स रिगार्डिंग द प्लास्टिक वेस्ट ठीक है चलो वेरी गुड यू कैन रीड दिस इज द एक्सप्लेनेशन Recently, Meghalaya has become the ninth state of the country to withdraw consent to CBI in, uh, to investigate cases in the state, which was the first state to withdraw. Remember, Jharkhand, Rajasthan, Punjab, or Mizoram in two thousand fifteen. Very good, Mizoram. Very good. It's option D. Very good, Shuchi, Soumya, Zaid. Yes, you've given the right answer. Very good, Tharki ka. It's correct. It's Mizoram. Okay. Chalo, great. The Financial Action Task Force has recently added which of the following to the grey list: Qatar, UAE, India, or Pakistan? India तो नहीं है, Pakistan बहुत पहले से है. Very good. It's UAE, United Arab Emirates. Shabash. चलो. Okay, everyone. Next, you fly, you fly citrus. Uh, Cynophlystis. Oh my God! Is a scientific name of bird, frog, snake, or fish? Uh-huh. Very good. It's a frog. Yes. Okay. It's a frog, and I think this was the last question also for the day. Yes. Okay. So very good, guys, and I hope that it was like good for you. Uh, like I'm thinking that now we will try to cover it through on on a weekly basis so that we do not have a lot at once on our plates. Okay. Na. So next, guys. Uh, now because we are left with some time, uh, so let's just move towards discussing the Ukraine Russia. Uh, you know uh controversy what is actually going on because see it's like nobody is exactly going to ask you this kya controversy hai but it's important for us to understand basics at least theek hai and some are also asking that is it world war 3 or not or will in my opinion abhi tak to it is not and i hope it does not turn out to be one now after we're done with this you guys can also give your opinion as to what do you think is it world war or not theek hai so i'll just give you some brief important points that we need to discuss about the russia ukraine now here what all we'll be discussing when were, when was the war started and what is the effect of this war of uh, russia ukraine war why russia has attacked ukraine in the very first place now what will be the stakes for the nord stream 2 pipeline hai kya ye pipeline kahan se kahan tak jati hai kis cheez ki pipeline hai theek hai and last nato's role in the war so north atlantic treaty organization what is it doing in the russia ukraine war okay so these are some important questions that we need to cover okay now first thing that we need to understand guys that when the war started and what is the effect of this war so we have to understand that the heat between russia and ukraine basically which is a former soviet republic okay it has escalated okay it and it has existed for a decent amount of time and they began to escalate out of control in the early 2021 so you have to understand that the tussle between russia and ukraine has been from a long time If you remember, we always talk about the annexation of Crimea, annexation of Crimea in 2014. So earlier, Crimea also. I'll show you in the map. Don't worry. Crimea also used to be a part of Ukraine, but because ethnically, 
the people of Crimea belonged to Russia, but geographically they belong to Ukraine. That is why there was a lot of you know uh, existential crisis going on amongst the people as well as as a like as a whole place as well. So in two thousand fourteen, Russia annexed Crimea. It took all the territory and combined it with Russia. Okay. So abhi recently on twenty fourth February twenty twenty two, the Russian president addressing his nation declared the start of a special military operation in Ukraine. In Ukraine also, it's not specifically in whole of Ukraine. There are two areas you must have definitely heard of those Luhansk and Donetsk. We will see that uh, those areas also they are under the uh, you know greatest uh, I would say impression or greatest. Uh, pressure of war. Okay, so according to the United Nations, at least three sixty four civilians till date have been killed and seven fifty nine have been injured since Russia invaded Ukraine. It further added that the true members can be considerably higher. Okay, so this is the basic background of this. So. लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड व्हाई अब क्या है रशिया को क्या मिल रहा है क्यों कर रहा है अटैक से देखो रशिया के पास और काम नहीं है क्या काम है ना सबके पास काम है अटैक कर रहे हैं तो क्यों कर रहे हैं रीजन क्या है क्या उनको मिल जाएगा उससे सी रशियन प्रेसिडेंट कौन है रशिया के प्रेसिडेंट लेदमिर प्यूटिन क्लेम्स दैट द रशियन मिलिट्री सीक्स डी मिलिटराइजेशन एंड डी नाजिफिकेशन बट नॉट ऑक्यूपेशन नाउ दिस इज आई वुड से अ हाईली डिप्लोमेटिक स्टेटमेंट देखो बिकॉज़ इट सेज दैट डी नाजिफिकेशन गाइस मींस दैट द इंपैक्ट ऑफ जर्मनी इट वांट्स टू रिड्यूस द इंपैक्ट ऑफ जर्मनी ऑन द एरियाज ऑफ यूक्रेन स्पेसिफिकली डोनेस्क एंड लुहानस्क इट इज सेइंग कि हमें कुछ नहीं करना है हम तो बस ये कर रहे हैं अरे तुम क्यों कर रहे हो मतलब इट्स लाइक व्हाई इफ इट इट शुड बी सीन बाय यूक्रेन दीज एरियाज आर अंडर दी गवर्नमेंट लाइक कंट्रोल ऑफ होम यूक्रेन सो रशिया टेक्निकली आइडली इट शुड नॉट इंटरफेयर राइट बट इट इज इंटरफेयरिंग एंड द रीजन वाई इट गिव दिस गाइज इज दैट द एरियाज ऑफ डोनेस्क एंड लुहानस्क कंबाइंड में जिनको हम डोम्बास रीजन बोलते हैं ठीक है so there also it is the same issue just like we had in crimea the people over there are russian speaking they ethnically belong to russia but geographically are a part of ukraine we'll see it over there don't worry okay so now this has angered russia now what happened i'll see that in january last year what happened was that ukrainian president uh, president uh, lodomir uh, zelensky he urged united states president joe biden to let ukraine join nato now guys this is actually i think i would suppose the biggest reason why russia is into this much of tussle dekho nato jo hai na it is north atlantic treaty organization so it is a defense mechanism that a lot of north atlantic countries they share basically it is that attack on one country will be considered as attack against all for example wo hota hai na ki jab when we used to be in schools to ladkon ki ladai hoti thi to ek ke ek ko kuch kehte the to sare londe le paade aa jate the remember so that used to be ki bhai ko bol diya hai to hum sabko bol diya mana jayega that is a kind of you know principle that nato also follows that attack on one country will be considered to be as an attack on all the countries and so all the countries collaboratively in coordination will defend the country so you getting agar aap ek member pe attack karoge to aapko defense karne ke liye members kahan se kitne milenge sare ke sare jo nato ke members hain theek hai now what was the reason guys ukraine has a very small army ukraine is not militarily very strong now of course uh, since annexation of crimea since 2014 it has invested a lot in its defense system but it was not really very strong in the uh, military bases and all russia You guys know about Russia. India का सबसे बड़ा डिफेंस पार्टनर है रशिया सो डेफिनेटली जो एक्सपोर्ट कर रहा है वो खुद के लिए तो अच्छा बना ही रहा होगा राइट सो रशिया एज ए नेशन इज वेरी मच मिलिटरी स्ट्रॉन्ग सो नेटो बाई ज्वाइनिंग नेटो यूक्रेन द पर्पज ऑफ यूक्रेन वॉज बेसिकली सो दैट इट कुड सेफ गार्ड इट सेल्फ बिकॉज खुद की आर्मी वीक है ठीक है तो वो बाकी जो कंट्रीज हैं जो अगर वो नेटो का मेंबर बन जाता है सो वो उनकी डिफेंस मेकेनिज्म को इट कुड यूज इफ एट ऑल देर इज एनी अटैक लेट सी बाई रशिया नाउ जस्ट रिमेंबर just try to understand guys if as of now as of today you can were a member of nato do you think russia would have been in such a strong position to attack uh, on ukraine what do you think agar ukraine member hota abhi tak hai nahi usne bas request ki thi but agar hota abhi wo nato ka member had it been would it would it have been so easy for russia what do you guys think so zed says no yes and who else what do you think guys कि uh, तब क्या इतनी इजिली रशिया अटैक कर पाता यूक्रेन के ऊपर अगर उसको पता होता कि उसके यूक्रेन अकेला नहीं है उसके साथ सारे नेटो के मेंबर्स हैं व्हाट डू यू थिंक अदर्स कम ऑन एग्जैक्टली 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 राइट सो सोमिया यू आर एब्सोल्युटली करेक्ट दैट नेटो वुड हैव अटैक्ड विद न्यूक्लियर बॉम्ब्स एंड मिलिट्री इंस्टेड ऑफ हॉकी स्टिक्स एंड बैट्स बिल्कुल यू आर करेक्ट राइट सो नाउ रशिया इज मेकिंग श्योर 
दैट नो वे यूक्रेन शुड बी एबल टू ज्वाइन नेटो ठीक है बिकॉज अगर ऐसा हो गया तो रशिया विल फॉल वेरी वेरी वीक वन मोर रीजन इट गिव गाइज यू नो द टसल बिटवीन रशिया एंड यूएसए कभी नहीं बनती इन दोनों की है ना कोल्ड वॉर के टाइम से इन दोनों की बिल्कुल भी नहीं बनती है ठीक है रशिया और यूएसए की वट डू यू थिंक इफ थ्रू नेटो यूएस अब देखो नेटो कुछ भी हो कहीं पे भी यूएस मेंबर है इट इज अ प्रोमिनेंट मेंबर ऑलवेज यूनाइटेड नेशन यूएसए डब्ल्यू एच ओ का था यूएसए डब्ल्यू टी ओ यूएसए नेटो यूएसए जस्ट इमेजिन दैट जस्ट इमेजिन फॉर नाउ ठीक है दैट रशिया लाइक नेटो का मेंबर है यूक्रेन सो यूक्रेन इज अम्बर आई एम नॉट सेंग इट इज आई एम जस्ट आस्किंग टू इमेजिन ओके प्लीज डोंट बी कंफ्यूज सो जस्ट इमेजिन दैट यूक्रेन इज नाउ अ मेंबर ऑफ नेटो ओके यूक्रेन शेयर एब्सल्यूट बॉर्डर विद रशिया सो डू यू थिंक रशिया विल एंटरटेन यू एस सो क्लोज टू इट सेल्फ वट डू यू थिंक बिकॉज सी इन अ वे इफ यूक्रेन इज अम्बर ऑफ नेटो सो यू एस विल ऑल्सो गेट सम यू नो वे टू मूव टूवर्ड्स यूक्रेन बिकॉज इट्स दे आर मेंबर ऑफ दम सेम फैमिली right so do you think russia will be happy to tolerate us so close to its borders never never ever never ever right because russia is already worried about the increasing presence of us in cuba and other you know canada and other countries as well so definitely russia does not want that so we can say that using name of people is one you know bahana kind of a thing theek hai ab aap wahi ke logo ko maar rahe ho to aap protect kisko kar rahe ho हाँ तो सिविलियंस तो वहां मरी रहे जिनके लिए आप एक तरीके से वॉर रेज कर रहे हो राइट सो डेफिनेटली वट एवरी वन इज से इंटरनेशनल फोर फ्रंट नो दैट देर आर सो मेनी मेथड्स यू आर अम्बर ऑफ यूनाइटेड नेशन यू आर परमानेंट मेंबर ऑफ दिस सिक्योरिटी काउंसिल एंड लुक एट योर एक्शन राइट सूट करता है अब बताओ चोर मतलब पुलिस वाले खुद चोरी करेंगे तो उनको सूट करेगा क्या बताइए अब आप यूनाइटेड नेशन सिक्योरिटी काउंसिल के परमानेंट मेंबर है एंड दीज आर दिविटीज दैट यूर डूइंग right so definitely there are a lot of things there are a lot of ways you know so many peaceful methods peaceful arbitrations and everything through which you could resolve this matter you did not have to do this i tell you just russia wanted to uh, impose its um, strength on ukraine keeping in mind that ukraine ukraine as a nation alone is not that strong but i think russia did not, uh, didn't really had uh, you know it didn't really imagine that so many international voices will raise against russia है ना एक्जैक्टली सेम थिंग इज डूइंग पाकिस्तान ओवर कश्मीर राइट सो दिस यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड गाइस ठीक है सो दिस बेसिकली बिकॉज यूक्रेन हैड आस्ड टू जॉइन नेटो दिस एंगल्ड रशिया व्हिच डिमांडेड दैट द वेस्ट वेस्ट किसको हम बोलते हैं यूएस वाली साइड को ठीक है गिव्स अ लीगली बाइंडिंग गारंटी और ये मांग कह रहा है कि आप लिख के दो हमें जैसे तो ना लिख के देगा क्या तो इट्स एक्चुअली सेइंग कि हमें लिख के दो कि नेटो जो है वो कोई भी मिलिट्री एक्टिविटी ईस्टर्न यूरोप या यूक्रेन में नहीं करेगा ठीक है ताकि रशिया का जो सुवरानिटी है रशिया का जो एक इन्फ्लुएंस है इस एरिया में एज अ मिलिट्री जॉयट वो बना रहे ठीक है सो दिस इज द एंटायर थिंग गोइंग ऑन अब देखो ये एरियाज ऑफ कंफ्लिक्ट हैं ये आपको याद रखने हैं देखो ये जो एरिया है सेपरेटिस्ट कंट्रोल्ड एरिया दिस इज द वन विच इज इन टू क्वेश्चन राइट नाउ गाइज प्लीज रिमेंबर दिस इज कॉल्ड एज दोनबास रीजन ये देखो ये देख रहे हो दोनबास ठीक है दोनबास रीजन एंड इट इज कंप्राइजिंग ऑफ टू प्लेसेज दिस द लोअर वन ठीक है विच इज एक्चुअली देयर टू सी ऑफ अजो यहाँ पे दिस इज दोनेस्क और ऊपर वाला एरिया है लुहानस्क ओके कंबाइंड में दे आर कॉल्ड एज दोन बास यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दिस इज कीव व्हिच इज द कैपिटल ऑफ यूक्रेन यूक्रेन दिस इज द बॉर्डर इट शेयर्स विद रशिया दिस इज क्रीमिया यहां पे देख रहे हो क्रीमिया व्हिच वाज एनेक्स्ड बाय रशिया इन 2014 ठीक है तो ये रीजंस आपको याद रखने हैं अ ओ ओ देखो जै देखो अ सी आई विल टेल यू यूएस क्यों नहीं आना चाहेगा रशिया की साइड पे वाई डू यू थिंक इट वॉन्ट वॉन्ट टू ठीक है क्यों लिख के देंगे नेटो वाले कि हम नहीं आएंगे क्यों रशिया आप कौन हो लाइक यू नो वाई शुड वी बस मतलब ये तो वही वाली बात हो गई कि आपने फ्लाइट हाईजैक कर ली है अब तो आपकी बात माननी ही पड़ेगी राइट बट डेट्स ऑन द राइट थिंग टू डू ना वो करते नहीं इस तरीके से कि दे किडनेप सम पीपल एंड दे वॉन्ट डेयर प्रिजनर्स टू बी रिलीज ना जो टेररिस्ट होते हैं यही तो करते हैं ठीक है सो डेफिनेटली अभी वी आर ट्राइंग की थ्रू अदर I told you about Swift, no? Like this only, we are trying to put some like we can India to use a little neutrally rise matter, but because of the ties it has with Russia, okay. But other countries they're trying to pressurize Russia through other sanctions, okay. So they cannot see if you think that he just you know giving what Russia is asking for. Are we not opening a way now? Every country that is militarily capable will do like this. 
है ना फॉर एग्जाम्पल अब पाकिस्तान से बहुत सारे लोग अगर इन्फिल्ट्रेट होके टेररिस्ट इन्फिल्ट्रेट इन्फिल्ट्रेट होके पाकों के पॉइंट कश्मीर से आगे आ जाते हैं ठीक है एंड दे आर सेइंग वी विल किल एवरीबॉडी वी विल बॉम्ब एवरीबॉडी जस्ट राइट ऑन पेन एंड पेपर दैट यू आर नाउ गिविंग होल ऑफ कश्मीर टू अस डू यू थिंक विल बी एबल टू डू दैट और डू यू थिंक दैट विल बी द राइट वे टू डू दिस थिंग और गिव अवे वॉट दे आर आस्किंग फॉर वॉट डू यू थिंक दैट देखो ऐसा है हाँ बिल्कुल सही कह रही है सौम्या कि यूएसए जो है ना उसको इतना 400 500 700 सौ लाइफ से कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता है यूएसए इट सेल्फ हैज बिन नॉट बीन वेरी ह्यूमैनिटेरियन इन मेनी मेनी अ टाइम्स ठीक है इट्स इज दैट उसको एक परफेक्ट अपॉर्चुनिटी मिल गई है रशिया को सप्रेस करने की ठीक है एंड इट विल नॉट लेट इट गो जस्ट लाइक दैट ठीक है एंड इट विल नाउ अब तो मतलब वो यूक्रेन को नहीं भी देता होगा मेंबरशिप तो भी वो झूठे आश्वासन पक्का दे रहे होंगे दैट यू नो वी विल डेफिनेटली गिव यू मेंबरशिप दिस दैट यू डोंट नीड टू वरी वी आर हियर टू प्रोटेक्ट यू एंड स्टाफ रिमेंबर जी बहुत दिस इज जो ये वर्ल्ड डिप्लोमेसी है ना ग्लोबल डिप्लोमेसी इट इज वेरी बैड ट्रस्ट मी इंडियन पॉलिटिक्स से भी खराब है ठीक है ये बोलते हैं देखो जेड एग्जैक्टली दिस इज द थिंग दैट द बैटल ग्राउंड इज यूक्रेन एंड स्पेसिफिकली दी दोम्बास रीजन उनका कोई कुछ नहीं लोगों को कुछ पता चल नहीं रहा है उनको कुछ समझ में नहीं आ रहा है बस यूएस और रशिया के बीच का बैटल ग्राउंड बन गया है यूक्रेन डेफिनेटली दैट शुड दैट इज नॉट गुड थिंग टू डू ठीक है हाँ यू देखो यूक्रेन का नुकसान यूएसए का फायदा बिल्कुल है क्योंकि यूक्रेन के नुकसान होने में रशिया नीचे आ रहा है रशिया के नीचे आने में यूएस ऊपर जा रहा है आ रहा है समझ में ठीक है और अगर यूक्रेन दबेगा ठीक है यूक्रेन को प्रॉब्लम होगी एंजल बन के सेवियर बन के कौन आएगा यूएस इन द नेम ऑफ नेटो ठीक है एंड फाइनली इट विल इंक्रीज इट्स इन्फ्लुएंस अमंग्स द पीपल इन यूक्रेन एंड इट विल गेट वेरी वेरी क्लोज बॉर्डर वाइज टेरिटोरी इन द टेरिटोरियल बेसिस ऑल्सो इन जोग्राफिकल बेसिस ऑल्सो वेरी क्लोज टू रशिया इज वेल ठीक है अब आया समझ में सौम्या की यूक्रेन के नुकसान में यूएस का क्या फायदा है ठीक है चलो ठीक है तो जोग्राफिकली गाइज ये आपको एरियाज याद रखने हैं क्रीमिया की यहाँ पे चर्नोबिल है यहाँ पे हमारा वो जो था सना आई फोगॉट ठीक है जो एक और न्यूक्लियर पावर प्लांट था वो आप देख लेना ठीक है ये इंपॉर्टेंट है तो ये याद रखना लास्ट गाइज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इज दॉर्ड स्ट्रीम टू पाइपलाइन ठीक है ये क्या क्वेश्चन में है इसमें आप बस इतना याद रखेंगे नॉर्थ स्ट्रीम स्ट्रीम टू पाइपलाइन इज अंडर वाटर इज इट्स एन अंडर वाटर पाइपलाइन ऑफ नेचुरल गैस विच रन फ्रॉम सेंट पीटर्सबर्ग टू लबमिन इन जर्मनी ठीक है तो रशिया के कोस्ट सेंट पीटर्सबर्ग से लबमिन इन जर्मनी सो रशिया से जर्मनी तक की ये पूरी अंडर वाटर पाइपलाइन है विच गोज थ्रू दी बाल्टिक सी वी विल सी इट इन दी पिक्चर डोंट वरी ठीक है सो इट विल डायरेक्टली सप्लाई नेचुरल गैस फ्रॉम रशिया टू जर्मनी सर पासिंग द लैंड मार्स विच इज डेयर इन यूरोप सो डेफिनेटली ये भी यूएस यूके को पसंद नहीं आ रहा है ठीक है सो इन्होंने कहा है कि देखो यूएस यूके अलॉन्ग विद रशिया नेबर्स पोलैंड एंड यूक्रेन दे आर स्ट्रॉगली अपोजिंग द नॉर्थ स्ट्रीम टू एंड दे आर सेइंग दैट इफ रशिया विल बी गिवन सच ऑटोनॉमी ओवर द पाइपलाइन सो वो तो किसी को सुनेगा ही नहीं अभी क्या था जो नॉर्थ स्ट्रीम वन थी ना इट यूज टू पास थ्रू लैंड सो इट यूज टू यूज अ लॉट ऑफ यूरोपियन लैंड सो इन केस कुछ पंगा होता भी तो यूएस कुड इन्फ्लुएंस दीज यूरोपियन कंट्रीज टू कट द सप्लाई कमिंग फ्रॉम रशिया They could, but now since it's through the Baltic Sea, किसी का ज़्यादा इतना कंट्रोल उसमें है नहीं तो ना यूएस उसको कंट्रोल कर पाएगा ना रशिया के अलावा कोई और उससे कंट्रोल कर पाएगा विच इज नॉट लाइक बाई दीज कंट्रीज यूएस यूके यूके ऑल्सो नाउ इफ यू नो इट्स नॉट अ मेंबर ऑफ द यूरोपियन यूनियन सो फॉर दैट रीजन इज वेल एंड पोलैंड एंड यूक्रेन एज वेल यूक्रेन तो है ही उसके एंडली ठीक है सो यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दिस एंड दिस इज नॉट स्ट्रीम टू पाइपलाइन गाइज यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दिस ठीक है देखो ये रहा हमारा रशिया ठीक है यहाँ पे हमारा जर्मनी है ठीक है दिस इज द बाल्टिक सी दिस वाटर बॉडी यू कैन सी इट इज द बाल्टिक सी एंड दिस इज नॉर्थ स्ट्रीम टू पाइपलाइन और क्या सर्व होगा इस पाइपलाइन के थ्रू इसमें नेचुरल गैस सर्व होगी बिकॉज द वेस्टर्न साइड ऑफ रशिया हैज अबेंडेंस ऑफ नेचुरल गैस एंड डेफिनेटली इट वॉन्ट्स टू मेक मनी आउट ऑफ इट ठीक है एनी ऑल्टरनेटिव फॉर द नॉर्थ स्ट्रीम टू यूर सींग यूर आस्किंग Uh, for which country you are asking? For Russia or for Germany or for these European nations you are asking? Like, किसके context से पूछ रहे हो? अच्छा Europeans के लिए अभी कुछ नहीं है. देखो इसका सिर्फ एक alternative अभी हो सकता है कि Germany ने अभी एक license grant करते हैं, है ना? Permission grant करते हैं. That has not been granted. What at most अभी ये they, they can do is that they can pressurize Germany that you do not give license to Europe. ये टू रशिया तो उससे क्या होगा इतना ज्यादा इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर में खर्च हुआ है रशिया का वो भी गड़बड़ हो जाएगी एंड जो उसने इतना ज्यादा सरप्लस अपना रखा हुआ है टू सप्लाई टू जर्मनी वो भी
इतना कर सकते हैं तो ये भी लाइसेंस नहीं मिला है रशिया को ठीक है नाउ गाइस आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू दिस तो वी हैव डिस्कस नेटोज रोल इन द वॉर ठीक है सो इसीलिए नेटो क्वेश्चन में आ रहा है तो डू नॉट बी कंफ्यूज यूक्रेन इज नॉट अ मेंबर ऑफ नेटो एज ऑफ नाउ रशिया तो है ही नहीं मेंबर इफ यू रिमेंबर आई टेल यू गाइस दिस इज अ फन फैक्ट एक बार रशिया ने भी अप्लाई किया था नेटो की मेंबरशिप के लिए Surprisingly, ठीक है इट डिड अप्लाई फॉर नेटो मेंबरशिप बट आफ्टर इट अनेक्स्ट क्रीमिया इन टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन इट वॉज स्ट्रक ऑफ फ्रॉम दी कंसिडरेशन लिस्ट ठीक है यूक्रेन इज स्टिल अंडर द लिस्ट एंड नाउ यू नो वट इज द रोल ऑफ नेटो तो नेटो इनडायरेक्टली अपना फुट स्टेप जमाना चाहता है यूक्रेन की हेल्प करने के नाम पर पता नहीं कर कितना रहा है नहीं कर रहा है कुछ समझ नहीं आ रहा है बट दिस इज द इंटायर इश्यू ठीक है सो आई होप दैट देखो इसमें से याद करने का ज्यादा कुछ नहीं था जोग्राफिकल लोकेशन याद कर लेना नेटो का रोल क्या है उतना समझ लेना नेटो की फुल फॉर्म क्या है वो समझ लेना यूक्रेन इज नॉट अ मेंबर इतना जान लेना रशिया इज ऑल्सो नॉट अ मेंबर ठीक है एंड नॉट स्ट्रीम थ्रो पाइपलाइन फ्रॉम फ्रॉम रशिया टू जर्मनी विल सप्लाई नेचुरल गैस थ्रू द बाल्टिक सी दिस इज ऑल बस ये माई पर्पज फॉर टेकिंग दिस थिंग वर्स सो दैट यू हैव क्लैरिफाइड बिकॉज इट इज टू मच इन टू न्यूज ट्रस्ट मी गाइज इवन आई वॉज नॉट वेरी क्लियर अबाउट दिस टिल अ फ्यू डेज अगो बट आई रेड इट एंड आई गॉट इट ठीक है कि मतलब क्यों हो रहा है ऐसा ठीक है तो बेसिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग के लिए आई हेड टेकन दिस सो दैट इन केस समी डिस्कस इट विद यू सो यू हैव अ परस्पेक्टिव ऑल राउंड परस्पेक्टिव अबाउट इट ठीक है तो समझ में आ गया ये यूक्रेन uh, रशिया का जो टॉपिक था वो समझ में आ गया और मैंने ये सोचा है आई हैव थॉट कि जिस दिन हम वीकली न्यूज लेटर कवर करेंगे बिकॉज इट इज डन वेरी क्विकली हु गिव्स द मेंबरशिप अजैद देर इज एक्चुअली अ कंप्लीट सिस्टम उसको मैप बोलते हैं मेंबरशिप एक असेसमेंट प्रोग्राम समथिंग लाइक दिस प्लान ऐसा कुछ रहता है तो ऑल द मेंबर्स अमंगस्ट द नेटो ओनली दे डिसाइड ठीक है तो इट इज हेडेड बाय इसका है हेडक्वार्टर्स देखो यहाँ पे है इसका भी हेडक्वार्टर्स बेल्जियम में है बेल्जियम की कैपिटल है बेल्जियम की कैपिटल आई एम नॉट एबल टू रिमेम्बर ठीक है वहां पे है ठीक है एंड देर इज नो हेड ऑफ नेटो जेद ठीक है एज सच कोई कंट्री इसकी हेड नहीं है जैसे फॉर एग्जाम्पल आसियान ले लो सार्क ले लो इनके कोई हेड थोड़ी है बट डेफिनेटली जो जो फंडिंग ज्यादा करता है उसकी ही बोल वाला ज्यादा होता है है ना तो टेक्निकली कोई मतलब इसके हायर uh, में कोई हेड नहीं है बट यूएस का ऑफकोर्स उसका से बहुत ज्यादा है उसमें ठीक है तो हाँ सेम एज यूनाइटेड नेशंस कौन है उसका हेड लेकिन डिसीजंस किसके बहुत ज्यादा माने जाते हैं यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स के ठीक है डब्ल्यू का हेड कौन है कोई भी नहीं है ठीक है बट अगर यूएस के खिलाफ कोई डिसीजन आना होता है तो यूएस पैसा ही नहीं देता है डिसीजन कहां से दोगे है ना तो पैसा बहुत बड़ी चीज है राइट सो हाँ ब्रूसल्स ठीक है सो हियर इज दी हेडक्वार्टर्स फॉर नेटो ठीक है थैंक यू सो मच सौम्या ठीक है तो आई होप गाइस आपके डाउट्स जितने थे इसमें क्लियर हो गए कोई और क्वेश्चन है मैं आंसर कर पाऊंगी तो डेफिनेटली आई ट्राई ठीक है तो जस्ट गिव मी यस और नो समझ में आया या नहीं समझ में आया है ना एंड हाउ इज इट 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 वर्क फाइन फॉर यू और नॉट एंड दिस स्कीम इज ओके और नॉट तो आई थॉट की द डे वी आर कवरिंग वीकली न्यूज लेटर आई टेक सम करंट अफेयर्स टॉपिक एंड वील डिस्कस अ लिटिल बिट इन डिटेल अबाउट इट राइट सो दैट वे वी कैन कवर आर इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स फॉर करंट अफेयर्स ऑल्सो ठीक है so okay you are always welcome soumya and uh, that was my purpose ki thoda bhi clarify agar main kar pati hu about this entire issue theek hai so i think guys uh, we are done with yeah it's almost like we're about uh, to finish the class session so if you have any doubts you let me know otherwise i'll sign off and i'll see you in my next class uh, when we'll be discussing some more new topics from current affairs okay hopefully i think in the next segment uh, we will be uh, revising the uh, current affairs from the previous year we had covered them right a month on a monthly basis so we'll be taking a quiz or something i'm planning on that i'll let you know okay so okay guys i think i will sign off for today um, that was a good session i also had a lot of revision of so many things and uh, yes 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 please please there go ahead with your question puchho puchho kya question hai pucho till then i'll also have a sip of water okay hmm hmm uh yes somia we are we have planned two revision sessions so uh, in each session we'll cover for 3 months theek hai so usme we will do on the revision of 3 3 months karke so last year ka almost we'll try to cover that way theek hai uh march tak ka current affairs tak kafi hai kaun se exam ke liye zaid which exam uh, clat ke liye ha so clat ka exam kab uh, hua hai call 
I think it's about to be कर रहे थे एट में आ बस it's more than enough more than enough एट में थोड़ा बहुत अगर कुछ बहुत significant April में होता है तो देख लेना ठीक है बाकी March तक more than enough March end तक follow करना that will be fine और कुछ वही हम सेंग कि कुछ बहुत ही गजब गजब हो जाएगा April में तो देख लेना ठीक है तो बाकी ये कि exam से fifteen twenty days पहले तक तो you can like leave reading current affairs उतना क्योंकि तब तक paper शिवर बन चुके होते हैं ठीक ह� or kuch anything else you need to ask uh, anybody else uh, if you have any question just please you're more than welcome if not then i'll sign off and you guys can have fun then okay so should we wind up everyone all right i think we're all sorted for the day okay you also guys please take care of yourselves thank you so much for joining and uh, please take care of yourselves